Everyone has different opinions, and sometimes my own don't match up with the rest of the average cartoon fan. Today I'll be talking about some cartoons that I personally like, but many people out there either don't care for or dislike them. With that being said, let's get on to the video. Welcome to the Wayne is a cartoon that seems to go under the radar for a lot of cartoon fans. When you see someone talking about the best possible recent Nicktoon, there's a pretty high chance they're going to say the Loud House or Spongebob. To be honest, I think Welcome to the Wayne would fall into that category as it's just a nice refreshing cartoon. It takes place in a mysterious apartment building with loads of secrets around every corner, so you never know exactly what to expect when you watch an episode. The characters are nice, the plot is awesome with some cool story arcs to keep you interested throughout the show, and most importantly, the comedy is legitimately funny. Some modern cartoons try way too hard to act random and stupid for laughs, but that almost never works out. Welcome to the Wayne doesn't land every single single joke, but it's funny enough to keep me watching and entertained. A lot of people dismiss this as nothing but a terrible Gravity Falls ripoff so they hate it and don't watch, but if you actually sit down for more than two episodes, you'll realize it turns into something that isn't like Gravity Falls at all. So many cartoon fans are missing out when they decide not to watch Welcome to the Wayne. It really is worth seeing if you love mystery and story arcs. Unfortunately, Nickelodeon barely airs it, so not as many people even know it exists. Maybe that's why so many people dislike it and they never talk about it? I don't know. Just check it out please if you've been avoiding it because it really is a quality cartoon. Madison Payne, co-host of Secret Mysteries, and you are not a fan. Talk to me. Strange Wayne stuff. Seen it? Heard it? No, not really. The place is pretty boring. Nothing to see. Are you kidding? What about that flying neon squirrel we just caught? Ah! Antsy, what do you think you're doing? Hey guys, I think I finally figured out this walking and talking. Ah! Adventure Time had some massive praise for a while, and it was seen as one of Cartoon Arc's best modern cartoons, so why am I talking about it here? Well, more specifically, as the series went on and we reached Season 6, the viewer count started to massively drop as everyone said how Adventure Time became worse than the early seasons. I've seen so many people just forget about the show, and they stopped watching at a certain point early on because they feel like the quality didn't match up to when it first came out. I have a different perspective because I watched the majority of the show after many of the seasons were already released, so I never stopped watching watching the episodes at a certain point. Maybe I'm one of the only people who continued to like Adventure Time even after the point where fans say the quality dropped. I'll admit there were many bad episodes in Season 6, but they were mixed in with some really good ones that shouldn't be forgotten. Not to mention, this show only got better in the next few years when we got stuff like Adventure Time Islands and Elements. So yeah, I like the majority of the show, even when it dipped in quality, but so many people just refuse to continue watching it and they don't like what it has become. You should at least try giving it a chance again, because it really did get better. Whoa! Jack Rabbit Johnson, these guys wanted for stealing piglets from their mothers while they are feeding. Makes me sick. Finally, let's talk about Kappa Mikey. It's a cartoon that just about nobody talks about anymore, which makes sense because it's an older Nicktoon. Anyway, I usually dismiss this as just a meh show with a meh premise, but I've seen a lot of anime since my initial viewing of it, and now I can finally understand all the jokes. Rewatching some of the episodes, these storylines and jokes were actually really good, better than I expected to be honest. It was a nice parody of anime that was at the same time never really making it look like a bad thing. People will criticize this show for being sort of a fake anime since it's a western cartoon but has a lot of anime tropes, but that's kind of the whole point. That's the situation of the show and it's really funny. The main thing I could say about Kappa Mikey is that it came out in the wrong time. Over the past few years, there have been some huge names in anime like My Hero Academia, which attract even the non-typical anime watchers. If Kappa Mikey had come out now, there would be a much bigger audience of fans and I bet that a ton more people would enjoy it. Do yourself a favor and watch this show if you haven't already, you'll probably be in for a nice surprise. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.